documents in the bank, clearly inquiry. The prosecution was scathing. It dismissed clearly statements that he was unaware tender processes were not followed. The prosecution says he was actively involved in the process. They argue that this amounts to improper conduct and a violation of the Public Finance Management Act. They conceded they could find no fraudulent activity on his part, but the prosecution says the evidence shows that there was a corrupt relationship between Tele and property mogul Ru Shabangu. This misconduct is so gross as to warrant a recommendation by this board in terms of Section 86B5, read with Section 92 of the SUBS Act, that General Tele be removed from office. Tele's lawyers argued there was no financial loss to police. This meant there was no violation of the PFMA and that Tlele's former deputy, Hamilton Schlerler, identified the buildings without instructions from Tlele. They also argued that there was insufficient evidence to prove corruption. On the law, they will not be able to show that our client is corrupt. They say on the law, they will not be able to show gratification. The hearings continue. Prishen Play, SABC News, Pretoria.